Okay, John, there's been some exciting news for the Bradford Bulls. Um, Gareth Carvel has officially joined over the, the coaching staff. Yeah, we're really pleased. Obviously, we've got greater commitments with the number of teams uh, that we've we're taken on board on a regular basis this year. Uh, Lee Beat and Matt Dunning are doing great jobs, but the, the, they are overworked and uh, we've acknowledged that. So what we've done, we've recruited extra personnel to look after the extra games and obviously have an input on the first team. So there'll be a restructure of the coaching staff. Uh, I obviously remain as head coach. Uh, there's three assistants now to, to myself dealing with first team matters. Gareth Carvel will be assistant to me, Lee Beatty will be assistant to me and Mark Dunning will be as well. So there's a little bit of a leg up for Mark who did a great job last year. But also, as well as being assistant coach to, to myself with the first team, uh, they'll also have specific responsibilities for other teams. So Gareth Carvel will be uh, the head coach for the reserves, uh, Lee Beatty the head coach for the 19s, and Mark Dunning, Dunning for the scholarships had the 16s. But also Mark's got a, a, an extra responsibility as well with doing some of the uh, analysis of both the opposition and our review work. So, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're still uh, a, a small coaching staff, but we feel a very efficient coaching staff, and I'd like to welcome Gareth on board, and I'm sure it'll be a, a great addition to us. It's another string to the bow. Um, as you said, that Mark and Lee certainly took on quite a lot last year, coaching the respective teams as well as helping you out a great deal uh, across uh, the reserves and first team. It's another string to the bow. What is Gareth going to? Uh, bring to the Bradford Bulls? Well, what he'll what bring, I mean, <laughs> you've, you've done it to look at his playing record. I mean, uh, Gareth Carvel, I think he's featured in six major finals. He's, he's won the Challenge Cup. Uh, unfortunately, he was at Warrington when Warrington had their uh, grand final uh, runners-up uh, heads-on. So, But he, he's won the Challenge Cup. He's played for Wales as an international, England as an international, and he's represented Great Britain. So that's his playing and, uh, view. But what he will bring specifically will be, obviously, extra work with the middle unit. So he'll really be looking at the 8, 10, 13 and, and the rook, rook area as well along with Lee and along with Mark. So, but, but there are specific things that Gareth's got that I haven't got, that Lee hasn't got, that Mark hasn't got. So we just feel he'll complement as great. And he's also very good to have around the joint. And in, in he's a very positive person. He's a, he's a very enthusiastic person. And it, it is one who, who I feel will add to our, uh, to our group. It's a great testament to the club. Uh, last season gaining promotion. Uh, the introduction of the reserve grade team and the academy um, bumping itself with the scholarships certainly had an outstanding season and then the 19s got half of that table um, they really got themselves back on track it's a uh, it's impressive for the entire club to bring more uh, coaches staff in that like it is exactly well it's impressive for but we feel that in order to continue this upward upward progression we needed a, another coach and uh, you know because Mark very much puts a lot of time in with the 16s who then become the 90s and we've only to see the success of the 19s with Lee because uh, it's, we've got three at representative level that went from the bottom of the table to, to just missing out on the playoffs and we're hoping they'll get in the playoffs this year and our reserves did pretty well as well. If you looked at our reserves results, the, you know the, they, they were only bettered by Wigan so we're hoping that Gareth can further contribute to that as well in, in this sort of watered down competition which we're a bit disappointed about because one of the reasons we brought him here was we, we felt it was going to be a fully fledged reserve competition but it's still a worthwhile one and it's still one that I feel that he'll make contributions with with some of our our developing players. And then just finally in terms of the player performance as you, you touched on before Gareth's man with quite a distinguished career how's that going to aid some of the players because he's going to bring as you say some working with the pack it's going to bring a different mentality to the side of. he is yes and obviously I, i've got an advantage he's been my assistant at wales as well for the last five years so i know exactly what he does bring to the group i know what i can tip him off on and i know what i can ask him to to just have a word with certain people about so yeah yeah he, he's he's got a great pedigree he's a good coach he's worked really well at Wales with, with myself and he wanted an opportunity we've given him the opportunity I feel he'll seize the opportunity and I feel that we've got four outstanding coaches here running the performance department